once there was a little girl called Sophie. She was having tea with her mummy. Suddenly there was a knock at the door. I wonder who that could be. It can't be the milkman because the milkman came this morning and it can't be the boy from the grocer's because it's not the day he comes and it can't be daddy because daddy has a key let's go and look and see they open the door and standing there was a big furry tiger. The tiger said, excuse me, I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, of course, come in. So the tiger came in and sat down at the table. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But Tiger didn't take one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches. But the tiger was still hungry. So Sophie said, would you like some cake? But again, the tiger didn't eat one slice of cake. He ate all the cake on the plate. He then ate all the biscuits until there was nothing left on the table. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? But then tiger drank all the milk and all the tea in the teapot and then Tiger looked round to see what else he could find. He ate all the dinner in the saucepans. Then he ate all the food in the fridge. He ate all the packets and tins out the cupboard and drank all of Daddy's beer, all of the orange juice and all of the water out of the tap. Then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I better go now. Goodbye. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for dinner. The tiger has eaten it all. Then Sophie's daddy came home. They told him what had happened how the tiger had come and eaten all the food and drank all the drink. Daddy said, I've got a good idea. Let's put on our coats and go to the cafe. So they went out in the dark and all the street lights were lit. And all the cars had their lights on. <sighs> and they walked down the road to the cafe. Where they had a lovely dinner of sausages, chips and ice cream. The next morning, Sophie and her mummy went to the shops 
and they bought lots more food and they also bought some tiger food in case the tiger came for tea again but he never did and that's the end of the story